All right, so this first table of data, we'll copy this onto this other sheet just to keep things nice and clean. And we'll talk through how to get the average. All right, so you can make it just very straightforward. You can just type out average. So there's an average function that's available in Google Sheets. And Google Sheets is already guessing the right range. You see the letters and numbers here in orange correspond to this orange outline. At this point, if that's all you need to do, then you can just hit tab. Google Sheets fills out the rest of the formula for you and the function is done. All right, so we can double check this function by taking the sum of the numerator and then dividing it by a count of the denominator. So the count would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And hitting enter, same result. So that's just a good old fashioned way to calculate the average. And this function is pretty easy to do. So we'll get into it more later, but if we use the average A function in this case, it would be the same. So we won't show that quite yet. So let's come down and copy this next table. We'll put it over here for you, but if you download this template yourself, you'll just get them all in a row like this. But we will copy it here to make it easiest to see. And so we have one column of data that has all numbers in it. And then the next column is actually the same number of items, right? There's zero here, there's nothing here. But this is going to behave differently in the functions because cell D3 and cell D6 are completely blank instead of having zeros. So let's calculate the average function. We hit tab. So we'll calculate the average function on this column and it returns $2.33. But if I copy that function and I paste it into D9, it gets $3.50. But if you look at this data, they're the same amounts. So you have to be careful using the average function and the same thing would also happen here with average A. So the difference isn't useful yet. But if there's blanks, both of these formulas are going to ignore those blanks. So the best way around that is just to replace your blanks with zeros if that's possible. Or you could be more manual where you could do something like uh, we did in the beginning. You could sum the numerator, but then you can't really use the count function for the denominator because the count function also isn't going to pick up blank cells. So you would have to know how many items are in there. In this case, it's six. Use that as your denominator. Then I'll hit enter. And that calculates the same average as if there were zeros. So that's a limitation that you have to watch out for, which would be blank cells. And then the next one is, uh, is Boleyn values. And I'm using this table as an example. We'll come up, we'll delete this. We'll get rid of the formatting and we'll paste in this next example. So Google Sheets allows you to put checkboxes in cells. So I got those in there by just doing insert checkbox. And these are the exact same as the values of true. And you can actually see it in the formula bar. So that's true and an unchecked box is false. So you may want to average these to see about how many people check their boxes, right? So how many of these are true? But if you do it with the average function, it's not gonna work, it returns an error. The divided by zero error is saying, hey, the, the denominator here is zero, so I can't divide by zero, so I'm just going to tell you it doesn't work. But what you can do here is take the average A function. So average A averages number amounts but it also accounts for Boolean values and it's going to make the trues a one and the falses a zero. Those ones and zeros make sense when you do something like this because that 83, if you change it to a percentage, this can tell you that let's say 83% of the items ordered by the customers are in stock. All right, and we'll go over one more example that's going to show you how to handle values that are text instead of numbers. So let me delete these formulas right here and I'll show you most of the time when you have numbers in a cell and you check them with something like the function called is number, 
it'll say true, meaning that this is a number. So you can multiply it, you can subtract it from another value. Um, but when I fill the is number function all the way down, one of these comes up as false. And that's obviously the one that we just typed in 548. All right, so let's just say someone was inputting values from voice recognition and this came through as 548. So they meant for it to be this value here, $5.48, but it came through as text. So no matter what you do, you're not going to be able to recognize this as $5.48, but the two average functions are going to treat that differently. So if we just run average, it's going to come up with 231.88. And if we run average A, and we'll talk about this in a second, average A, on these same values. We'll fix the formatting. It comes up with 193.24. So if you look at this, 548 is the second lowest value. So if you get rid of it and don't count it at all, your average is going to go up, right? So that's kind of how you can tell what average is doing. A average function just ignores text values. So when it comes through here to add the numerator, it's going to capture row two, four, five, six, and seven, and then it will divide by five. So we'll completely ignore the 548 in the numerator and in the count in the denominator. But the average A function will come through here. It will sum these numbers, but it will get a zero when it sums this string of 548. But then when it divides, it will include it. So it will divide the entire number by six instead of five. That may be the treatment that you want, right? In which case you would use average A. But if you want to completely ignore it, you need to just use the regular average function. So I'm Adam Steinfurth. Thanks for watching the Sheets Help channel. And if you like a little bite-sized videos like this about Google Sheets, please subscribe to this channel and you'll see a lot more of them. Thanks for watching.